There we go, got one. All right, guys. I'm out here uh, at a spot with Matt, Bassman TV. We went out this morning and took our kayaks out. Well, brought a kayak for Matt to use. I didn't catch a single thing. Matt caught like five. Five fish. Big turtle. So uh, I guess stay tuned for Matt's video of some uh, kayak fishing because you ain't going to see one for me. I didn't catch anything. Uh, I'll drop his channel down below. But we came out to this spot. I have fished this one time last year, I think, and I didn't have any luck. But I'm going to try and throw a frog around, see if I can catch a frog fish or something, anything. I'd like to catch a fish today. So that's about it, guys. Stay tuned. See what we can do. All right, guys. Uh, seven four heavy fast St. Croix Bass X rod Shimano SLX DC. I think it's 40 pound braid, and then that's the frog that I have on there. I couldn't tell you what it is, but we'll see if we manage to catch anything. Probably a little far out. I'm not great with frogs. There we go. Oh, he missed it. That's the secret. Cast it right along the bank. Man, there was my first hit. Didn't hook up with it. Dang. They're underneath that real shallow grass right up there. Are they? Well, he tried. He didn't get it me all wrapped up should probably have trimmed my trim these down a bit I feel like and even uh, maybe bent my hooks out but try it again hit right down here I don't know if you guys probably couldn't see that I don't know if I was pointing towards the water for close enough or whatever but Even let him have it for a couple seconds. Go grab my bag. Well, at least I had a blow up on it, but I suck I hook sets, I guess. What are you throwing? Swim bait? Just brought the frog rod with me. I don't think I can, I don't know if I can get this stuffed in here. Not falling out. Just gotta not hit those on my back cast. Just like that. <sighs> Not only would this be my first frog fish of the year, it'd be my first top water. I haven't really thrown any top water this year. I lost my favorite whopper plopper early this year. I'm trying to catch some something. And I haven't replaced it yet. It's pretty much everywhere I go has been sold out of them due to the old Rona. I just spooked another one out. He was like right, right on the bank. It's crazy. Did you catch anything off the frog yet? I had one blow up down there, other side of that tree. Missed it though.
spray fish till my battery dies. Call it a day. Oh, oh, he missed it. <laughs> it's like the second bite I've had all morning. <laughs> oh, I was looking at you talking to him. <laughs> There we go, got one. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, bam. Come here, bud. Took forever to get this one to bite. Chill. But he hit it. That's a good sized fish, guys. I am super happy about that. When we got one hook into him, but managed to get one. That's that's not too shabby. That makes my day. That's the uh, that's the first top water fish of the year for me. So managed to hook up with one. It's not a huge fish by any means, but uh, that's my first top water fish of the year and first frog fish of the year. So I'm really happy that I caught it. Only got one hook into him, but uh, that was like the third blow up that I've had out here. So. It was surprising that I finally hooked into one. I'm really stoked about that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy back in the water. He's feisty. He's very feisty. He is like super feisty. It's pretty shallow over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss him back, but there we go, guys. Not too bad. He is gone, just disappeared. There he goes. That's a nice one. Thank you. First topwater fish of the year for me. Hi. Yeah, we got good size ones here. I mean, yeah, it was. Catch them <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. So what had happened was I walked over here, and let's see if this lens is clean. So I walked over here and I watched that I I spooked a little one out, and he kind of went out towards uh, that little patch right there. If you guys can see it on the camera, so I cast it out that direction instead of casting along the bank. And I was pulling it back and that fish was hiding out there a little bit farther out than I expected. And he absolutely hammered it. Hopefully I got the blow up on camera, but. It was good, yeah, frog. Well, I am happy that I finally hooked up with something. I, I had spooked a tiny one out. And so I was like, well, screw it. I'll cast out kind of where he went and start pulling it back. And then that big one just came up and hammered it. Yeah, that was awesome. I have no idea. <laughs> it's been in my box for like three years. I didn't throw a, throw a frog at all last year. Oh my God. Just uh, That's like my favorite way to catch them, frogs and swim baits. Whopper floppers is my favorite top oh water, God, but I like, hardly ever thrown a whopper that's, I love those things, but like here you couldn't do it. So, yeah, that's a pad crasher. Is it booyah? Booyah, pad crasher. Do you trim your uh, yeah. trim your yeah. stuff up? What I what I do, I flip it upside down, and then just cut right like, right, right along there. The front there. Do you bend your hooks out at all? Uh, sometimes on the frogs I use, I don't really because they're they're soft. That's a this. bigger one, huh? Yeah, these are a little bit softer. I need to get. But some if I'm missing. Ones. If I'm missing hookups, I will. Like the pad crashers, I usually bend them off. Well, I'm happy. You done? Uh, I might fish this side and then call it away. That guy in the kayak said everything he was catching was around that pipe over oh, on yeah, the other they're, side. They're always right there. It comes, there's a hump over there. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I managed to hook into that one fish with the frog. Uh, Matt's had a couple bites out here. I think he caught a couple. You said a couple smaller ones down. Real small. Smaller ones. Um, talked to a guy that lives right here. He was out on his kayak, and he said it was kind of a struggle bus this morning also. So I'm super stoked to hook into that uh, bass on the frog. Uh, first fish that I caught on this rod, so I was pretty happy with that too. Um, I definitely need to throw frogs more often. I don't think I threw one at all last year. I kind of stick to whopper ploppers. I like whopper ploppers, but... 
with the cover that's in this water here, uh, that would not do very well. But uh, I got to get out of here. I'm about to go do some camping tonight, and then I think I'm going to head out on a boat in the morning. I don't know what's going on, but I guess you guys will have to stay tuned for that. I will make sure to put Matt's channel, Bassman TV, down in the description so you can check out his video from kayak fishing where I failed and the stuff that he's done out here. So that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the episode. We'll get on some more topwater fish here soon if I continue to... Let's see, where was I going with that? Throw it? If I continue to throw it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep throwing this, but... I was surprised that we hit it because it's it's 1130 and it's I mean there is some cloud cover but not a ton so to nail a topwater fish at the you know middle of the day was pretty cool but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh, stay tuned for the next one I'll see you in a bit